Coach Jabo Sweeney, the Tigers have their eyes set on another national championship. And not just will they get the title if they win, but they will make history as the first program in the top tier to win 15 games in a season. Some epic things they're about to do. Hopefully, Alexa Rodriguez live in Clemson with more on how they're getting ready this week. They don't have a ton of time, Alexa. No, they really don't. And when you think about it, that was the first thing that Dabo said on the teleconference that happened yesterday morning. Uh, he was like, listen, it has been a whirlwind. We won the Cotton Bowl. Then we immediately got on a plane, got to Clemson, slept, and here we are. You guys are asking me all these questions. Trevor Lawrence himself was like, uh, no, I haven't had a chance to review game tape. I literally just woke up. So it has been kind of a whirlwind yesterday being the first day that they really had to start, a full, first full day that they had to start preparing. Dabo did say going up against Alabama is really a huge challenge, but it is something that they're looking forward to. And you know what? Nick Saban had the same thing to say about the Clemson team, that they are a great team and they've got their work cut out for them. Dabo did say it's been an exhausting few days, obviously traveling so much and now he's got to get the team ready to head to California in a few days. In terms of getting the team in the right mindset, he said he doesn't really think he needs to do that with this team because they know. He also says that this is a game where you have to do the little things to win. We've played them now four years in a row and uh, this is a, a veteran team that we have. Uh, they understand that you know this is a game where you just you just have so little margin for error. I mean, it's it's two or three plays. When you look at this game, I think both teams are kind of mirror images of each other. To be honest with you. As for the suspended players from the Cotton Bowl, who, again, were suspended after failing a drug test, Dabo said he didn't really have an update on them. He knew that there were going to be more meetings happening yesterday. He did say that he's hopeful something positive will happen, but understands that there's just not much time before the national championship game, which, again, is on Monday. I'm sure everyone knows they've got it on their calendars. Dabo did say that the team would be flying out on Friday. So when you think about it, not much time to prepare, but they are getting ready and they are confident. Lauren? Yeah, and you know what? It sounds like they're trying to spend as much time at home as they can, kind of out of the hype, keep those players focused. They are a six-point underdog. I know it's not much, but it may be a little fuel to the fire to get them motivated. Uh, Alexa, thank you. As